Yeah, we are looking at the exercise of question part two. Uh, solve the, uh, the following equations. Uh, the question one. And if we check this question, you will realize that uh, the coefficient of uh, s cube, okay, and that of x is the same. That means we can combine them together, okay. So in that case now, uh, we can divide, uh, divide. Let's divide uh, through the equation. Uh, by uh, x squared. Okay, so if you do that, this will mean x squared. This will be equal to 2, 2x, two and this will be equal to minus uh, 6, and this will be equal to uh, minus 2 over x, and that will be 1 over uh, x squared, equal to 0. So with that now, we can combine this one together, we can arrange this, this two, and that will be equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared. And this one also, and this one, we can also uh, put them together. Minus two could be outside. Two z, two z, take it outside. Then you have what? It's mean x here, and then minus and it's minus that's plus one by x. Then, so right here, so we now have uh, minus six. Now we have this one, minus six equal to zero. Okay. So please check the coefficients. So, and that will tell you what to do, okay? Um, then the next thing to do now, we can realize that this and this, they almost look uh, almost look the same. So we're going to do some little algebra too. Um, there's a relationship between this one and this one, okay? So we're going to uh, let G substitute, let's call this one, let A uh, be equal to this, one plus X. And then if you do the A square, then we have um, x plus 1 over x or square. Okay, and this will be equal to x squared plus x plus uh, 2 times uh, 2 times x times 1 over x, then plus 1 over x or square. I'm using uh, this uh, expansion, a plus b squared. That will be equal to a squared plus a times b. A B times two, two A B, then plus the last one, plus B square. So the same thing I did here. This one square, okay. The first one, the second one, two times A B, A B, and then plus B square. So A square will now become S square. This one will cancel. And plus two, plus one over what? One over S square. So then we now have a squared equal to what? S squared plus one over S squared uh, plus two. So we can make this one to stand alone by moving this one to the other side. So a squared minus two is equal to what? Is equal to this plus uh, this. So you can now see now that that's a relationship between this. Okay, and that is that. Okay, so anyway, you see this one now. Uh, it will be what? Anyway, you see this uh, expression, you just put this uh, this uh, a square minus 2 there, and then minus 2 into bracket. This one is a, okay? Minus 2a, and then minus 6 equals to 0. So we have a square minus 2a minus 8 equals to 0. This one is minus 2 minus 6. So with that now, we can combine this one together. Uh, factorize this a square here is one here one here factors of it is uh four and two so how can you use four and two to get minus two that'll be minus four plus two and when you multiply this two you have your minus eight so minus four plus two so that means a is what a is four or minus two but a isn't a uh, was not part of this solution, was not in the variable for the question. So, what we said, recall, we said that uh, A is equal to what? We made substitution for uh, for this expression. So, from here we can get the, now we can get the x here. So, when A is um, 4, when A is 4, we have this. Can you multiply through the expression by x? By this one so that the fraction uh, the denominator here can go 
So we have 4x here equal to x squared plus 1. And that will give us uh, x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay? So that's all we have there. x is equal to uh, 2 plus or minus uh, 3. Just use the calculator to solve that. Okay? Then the next one, when uh, when when a is a minus 2, then we have uh, minus 2 equal to dx plus dx. Multiply two by that. Multiply two the equation by x. So we have uh, minus 2x equal to x squared plus 1. And this will give us x squared plus uh, 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So then the factors of this will be equal to um, one here, one here. Factors of one is one and one. So that'll be plus one, uh, plus one. So x is got what? Minus one. So the solutions, the solutions are minus one and uh, um, two plus or minus uh, three. So that's the solution for that. Yeah, this is the next question we have for the equation. Um, and if you look at the equation, you see that this is root, square root, a radical, a radical, a radical expression. So square root. So the question has been, has grouped the question into two parts. We have one radical, uh, square root here, one radical here, and we have two here. So what we can do is to find a way to remove this square root. Okay? So how do you do that? Square both sides. Square both sides. So if you do that, then we have uh, this one with 5x plus 1 all square, and this one will be 2 into bracket what with x plus 6 all square. So and this will give us uh, this one will be uh, let's have this algebra a plus b square. This will be equal to a square plus 2 a times b a b then plus uh, b squared. So I'm going to use that. So that will be equal to x plus 1 followed by uh, plus 2 into bracket what? Uh, this one times this one. And that will be equal to what? Uh, root x plus 1 uh, root 5x uh, plus 1 and then times the last one that our, uh, square root will go there. So we have 5x uh, plus 1 then this one will be equal to what? 2 squared, that will be 4 into bracket x plus 6. So, and this will be equal to what? x plus uh, this one, that's 6x. 1 plus 1 here, that's a plus 2. Plus 2 into bracket x plus 1. And then 5x plus, we join it, 24 minus 2, that's plus 22. So, then the next thing to do now, is to divide through the equation by 2 then we have x plus 1 into bracket 5x plus 1 equal to uh, 11 minus x this one over 2 22 over, 22 over 2 that's 11 this one also over 2 that's minus x and the 2 here we cancel out so then what we now have now the square root now is now reduced to single, uh, single one. So we can square again both sides, and that will be equal to. Uh, if we square both sides, we just have this one here equal to 11 minus x or square. When you square the uh, the root, it will disappear. Okay, you have this. Then you can do the expansion. This one times this one, that's a 5x square. This one times this one, uh, plus this. This one times this one, plus 5x. This one times this one plus one equal to eleven squared one two one minus two times eleven times x then plus x squared. So that'll be five x squared plus six x plus one equal to one two one minus twenty two x plus x squared. You can bring all the variables to one side. Uh, this one is there. We can go to the other side, that, and that will be 5x minus x squared. That will be 4x squared. 
6 plus 6x is there. This one can join it. That will be plus. This is minus 22. So that's plus 22 uh, x. This 1, 2, 1. Plus 1 is here. Then minus 1, 2, 1 equals to 0. So we have 4x squared. This one and this one, that's plus 28. This one, 1 minus 1, 2, 1. That's plus. That's a minus, uh, minus uh, 120. Minus 120 equals to 0. You can divide uh, through the equation by 4. Then you have uh, x squared. Uh, plus uh, by 4 plus uh, 7x and then minus uh, 30 equal to 0. Then you can factorize this. You can factorize this equal to 0. Pair this one, one here, one here. Factors of 30, mm, 15 and 2, 15 and 2, but 15 and 2 cannot give us 7. Out of 10 and 3, 10 and 3 is okay. So that will be plus 10. Minus 3 plus 10 minus what? Minus 3. And when you multiply plus 10 minus 3, you get back your minus 30. So your x is what? Minus 10 or 3. So that's the solution for that uh, uh, question.